new to me. I heard a lot on social media that it sells well, so I decided to try it. 100% sell through in June for an average sale price of 30 dollars and average days on hand was roughly 47 days so under two months everything that i purchased from this brand is selling what's up y'all it is your girl sarah from sarah's styles here in june i sold over six six thousand five hundred roughly six thousand five hundred dollars selling on Poshmark and eBay. That is my gross number. I'll link a video up here that goes a little bit more into detail about that as well. But in today's video, I am going to show you guys my top 20 gross revenue brands for the month of June. Let's jump right into it. If you are new to this channel, I do sell liquidation. So I purchase new with tags liquidation as well as thrift store. If you're interested to know which one performs better, I will definitely link some videos for you guys above to kind of, I do an analysis on what performs better and what to look at between liquidation and thrifting. But this is my monthly summary. If you're new to the channel, this is the Sarah Style Sales and Trends dashboard. It's for purchase. You can have this information as well. You track and manage your data up to 25 platforms. And then all of the charts that I'm going to be showing you today, as well as most of my other videos, you have access to those charts to be able to make the money that you want to make and have data to analyze to be able to make strategic decisions in your business. So in June of 2021, like I said, $6,541, I sold 192 items. And what's phenomenal, phenomenal about this, and I go over in this video more in depth is I wasn't working. <laughs> I was doing shipping, shipping daily because I was selling daily and I was sending out offers on eBay daily, which takes, you know, 10 seconds. And then I was launching drafts. I have a VA and I have enough photos to last me for the whole entire summer and they're doing the drafts and I launch the draft. So it takes me, you know, I make working, you know, maybe a half an hour a day maximum. I have three kids that stay home. So I'm enjoying the summer with them. Um, so this is kind of where I'm at for the month. I have lots of videos that go more in depth into that, but let's look at my inventory. Let's look at my top brands. Scroll down. Let's get there. There we go. Is that in the, these are my top revenue brand for the month. Let's make that bigger. All right. These are my top performing brands for the month of June. They made me the most gross revenue on Poshmark and eBay in the month of June. So I'll read through them and then I'll go through and tell you I look at sell through rate as well as average sale price. There's different strategies that go with each of them. And then I will show you guys the actual items that sold. So top brands are Free People, Columbia, Theory, Nike, ATM, Sanctuary, Coach, Citizens of Humanity, Hudson, Athleta, Tord, Todd, Curran Elliott, Michael Kors, Calvin Klein, Lucky Brand, Ideology, Frame, Velvet by Graham and Spencer, and Rails. Uh, something that stuck out to me as we were saying that is Ideology is up here, not because ideology is a phenomenal <laughs> brand to purchase. This comes in a lot of my liquidation lots and it's making me a lot of gross revenue strictly because I have a lot of it. It comes in some of the, they kind of throw it in as a filler. It's new with tags and it sells, but you can see down here, it my sell through rate on it is the lowest sell through rate. So if you're new to the channel, sell through rate is going to be how many items you have sold out of how many items that you have for sale. Any time period that you want to look at, uh, it's going to be variant depending on the time period that you look at, but that is essentially sell through rate, average sell prices on average, how much are these items selling for? Those are the two main metrics that I look at. And so you'll see here on this chart, is I have my sell through rate versus my average sell price. So the further up it is in this corner, it means it has a high sell through rate. I'm selling a lot of what I have and it has a high average sell price. That's my Bolo brands. So let's look and see this little tiny dot up here. What is that? That is tots, a hundred percent sell through rate. Now keep in mind, I only had one of them. Um, so yay for a hundred percent, but I only had one. In theory, I think I've sold all of the Todd's that I've ever had. So it definitely does sell. Average sale price of $97, guys. Like if you see Todd's, keep an eye out for it. Definitely a bolo for me. Um, and then we'll come over here. This is because it's a little further over. It's going to have a higher sale price, uh, a higher sell through rate, not necessarily as high of an average sale price. 
but it's selling. And that brand is Torrid. This is something that I have heard repeatedly in the community. I have yet to purchase it until the past two months. I decided to try a couple of things and I'll show you the actual three items that sold for me in June from this brand. Over here, you can see the average days on hand for it is 47 days. That's pretty legit. Like, okay, so it's not selling for $97, but hello, $33 in a month and a half. That's a pretty good quick flip. One other one, um, we'll kind of go over some of these other ones up here. Current Elliott, 60% sell through rate. So in June, 60% of the current Elliott that I had for sale was selling at an average sale price of $31. The majority of current Elliott is going to be liquidation for me. Uh, Todd's and the Torrid are both thrift store. Um, Citizens have humanity. This is all thrift store, average sale price of $53 for a sell-through rate of 40%. I'm kind of picky and we'll get into this a little bit more. These are jeans and jeans you definitely have to buy. Not everything in this brand is going to sell. It has to be either something unique about it, typically I find, or it has to be definitely like on trend in style jeans, high rise. Um, actually the 20, 2000s and 2K, are coming back. Um, so think of like Christina Aguilera, right? With a really, really low rise. That is starting to come back a little bit more. Um, boot cut, I've heard. I'm kind of testing that water out. Let me know what kind of jeans that you guys like to pick up. It's one of my favorite categories to buy as well as take pictures of. I can cruise through some pictures and I can store a lot of jeans. And then all the way over here, you have theory is going to be my highest average sell price. Typically speaking, you're going to have a higher average sale price. You're likely going to have a lower sell through rate. It typically takes a little bit longer to move higher average sale price. It doesn't mean one is better than the other, um, but if you're moving towards that higher average sale price type of seller, keep that in mind. It may take a little bit longer to move your inventory. $88. The theory, I think all of the theory that I currently have is going to be new with tax. So before we get into looking at everything or uh, some of the items that have contributed to this. I'm not going to show you everything because that would be a really long video. I would get tired of talking and I'm not sure if you guys would be interested, but I kind of picked some of the top ones. I'm definitely going to show you the three towards that I picked up because I do think that is a Bolo brand for me, not because it sells super high, but those stats are pretty legit. 100% at under two months um, is pretty legit. So I'll definitely show you all of those. And then a couple of those other brands that kind of went into this data. But before we get into the actual items, if you guys like reseller content, you want to learn how to make money reselling, not just strategies that work for me, but I show you data and I give you tools like the dashboard to help you figure out what is working for you. Strategies that are going to work regardless of what niche you're in. You don't have to sell women's clothing, shoes, and purses like I do. The strategies and the techniques that I show you because they're based off of numbers and data-driven strategies are going to work for everybody. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, give me a like and save and share it. If you liked it, others probably are liking it as well. If you share it on your social media, do make sure to give me a tag, Sarah Styles LLC everywhere. So let's get into the fun part and see the actual items that contributed to these numbers. I am definitely higher on eBay. We'll scroll down and look at that chart really quick just so you can see my eBay numbers for the month. These are my eBay numbers for the month. eBay is definitely my big hitter compared to Poshmark 100%. So you're going to see a lot more eBay sales than you are going to be Poshmark, strictly because I sell more on eBay. I will link videos up here, Poshmark versus eBay strategies that I have and the split out between the two as well. So let's go ahead and start looking at the actual items that sold. This is the fun part, right? So Athleta, I do not pick up all Athleta that I see. I am in Colorado. We are an active state. A lot of the brands that you're going to see from here in the thrift store are going to be these active type brands. Athleta, I personally love it myself, so I will buy almost any Athleta that I see in my size. What I tend to purchase from Athleta is going to be their jeans seem to do pretty well, as well as anything that's like unique. Um, so just a regular pair of leggings, I would probably would not pick up except for myself, but I've sold Athleta like uh, hoodies that have like an asymmetrical 
a zipper on them or something that tends to be a little bit more trendy. But their jeans definitely are selling for me as well. Keep in mind when you look at this view, I have best offers on. And so the view that I bring up that doesn't have customer, customer information on it is going to not necessarily be the truest price. If it was a best offer, um, it's not necessarily going to show here. That's why I show you guys my average sale price for Athleta prior. So here is Torrid uh, high rise shorts. So again, I picked these up because they were high rise shorts as well tend to have a high sell through rate. Let me go ahead and show you if we scroll up here on my categories, shorts is probably going to be one of these up here. Shorts, 20% sell through for the month. That's double my monthly sell through for June. So while it it doesn't seem like a hundred percent like the tots. I'm selling double shorts than I am my average for the month. So I will pick up shorts, especially because it's summer. Um, I'll pick up shorts if they have, you know, they're on trend. These have the distress or not distress, the help me out guys. Why can't I think um, the fringe? Sorry. I couldn't think of the word uh, as well as high rise is on point right now towards those cells size 26. Again, here is a towards this is thrifted. I think this is actually a thrifted mystery box that I purchased. I have a viewer who likes to shop um, and sends me mystery boxes. Sometimes I pay for them, but she likes to shop and she likes to send me mystery boxes. So this was thrifted, just not personally by me toward, uh, you know, it was a collared toward shirt. I'm actually kind of surprised that sold as quickly as it did because it's, it's summer. Um, it was lightweight, but I sell internationally too. So I'm not sure if maybe that went to someone international Coach is up there, um, as well. Coach tends to be one of my coaches on that chart Coach is one of my top 20 brands consistently. It sells for me. I do not pick up everything from coach. So, you know, watch some of these videos, watch some of my old what sold videos to see what type of coach is selling for me. Consistently coaches up there as a top selling brand. Current Elliot, these were actually thrifted. I don't typically thrift current Elliot. I haven't found honestly, what sells the best from Current Elliot. So if you guys have a lot of luck with this, let me know down below. The new with tags Current Elliot tends to do pretty well for me because it's new with tags and it's typically store stock. So it's like a year or two old, but buying it at the thrift store, I'm pretty sure this was also a Current Elliot from that mystery box. So it was thrifted, just not personally by me. What blows my mind is $18.75. Y'all, these current Elliot new are probably like $200, $150, And you can buy it on eBay for $18. Um, that's where brands that retail high don't necessarily mean that they are going to resell high. Let me know what brands you guys find are that way. Uh, Trina Turk, definitely I find her stuff is so cute and it just does not resell that high. It sells, what I've had is sold, but not that high compared to the retail. Athleta, again, a pair of jeans, size 14. I do find that the higher sizes tend to move a little bit quickly, hence the Torrid, I think as well. But again, the jeans by Athleta, these were an older style too. So I wasn't sure about them but they sold. Here's Current Elliot. These also were thrifted. I find as well the boyfriend, girlfriend type jeans tend to do well cropped. This doesn't say cropped, but they're definitely cropped because they're a rolled hem and cropped tend to do a little bit better. Here's the tots. What's funny is if you guys watch my channel, I am not one to hold out a lot. Um, if I think like these, I held out on. I, I accept a lot of offers. I mean, not low, low offers, but I, I like to get inventory moving. I'm in the business of selling items, not storing items. But this, I had one guy he sent me a really low offer and I sent a counter offer when I first listed it. And then like a week or two later, he sent me another DM and was like, Hey, they haven't sold yet. Uh, would you consider my offer? And I said, no, this is the lowest I'm going to go. And then like a month later he did it again. And I was like, no, this is really the lowest that I'm going to go. And then these sold, I want to say full price, but not because I had a 10% sale on them but essentially full price. They didn't send an offer. So something like this, a brand like this that I've sold before, I know my data, 100% sell through rate, a high average sale price. I knew it was going to sell higher. I just had to wait for the right person. 
Athleta again, here's a swimsuit. Uh, and this sold Athleta swimsuits, I find do pretty well if they're in really good condition. I bought this, I think in May, listed it for the summer and it sold pretty quickly. I did have a couple low offers on this that towards the end of the summer, I probably would have entertained a little bit more, but I was like, hey, summer just started. Like, let me give this a month or two on eBay and see how it's doing. Here's another current Elliot. This is new with tags. Um, I'm kind of surprised this sold just because I think it's kind of <laughs> ugly. <laughs> I don't know. The color is just kind of weird. It doesn't look that bad here. Um, I just didn't think it was that cute. So I was actually kind of surprised that it sold. If you guys notice too, I have sales on most of my items. My sales are based off of, if you're interested, uh, my sales, I get this question a lot. So my sales are based off of my days on hand. I look at my data, how long do shirts typically take to sell? If it's past that, then they start to get discounted more and more. I am not in the business of storing inventory. I am in the business of selling it. I want inventory to be moving. If it has not sold in my average days on hand, yeah, I, I'm discounting it. I'm selling it. A price high as well, um, hoping to get that high price. And then it just continues to get discounted. I don't think in any of these you'll see, but I have sales up to like 65% on things. I've had it for a while. It's taking up space that I cannot have new inventory in. I have limited space because I work from my house. Um, and so I want things moving. If it hasn't sold out with the old in with the new. Here's coach. I am very surprised that these sold as high as they did. The only reason that I really bought them is they were in really good condition as well as they were a size eight and a half. That's a pretty good size. If they were a smaller size, I would have skipped on them. This logo with the, I'm not going to be able to say it. Um, this logo tends to sell a little bit lower kind of an older style um, and it just doesn't sell this high typically, but I think they were really low priced at the thrift store and they were a good size. And I'm thoroughly surprised that they sold for $34. Here's Karen Elliott. Again, the boyfriend denim cutoff. You have the cutoff fringe, whatever. Yeah, whatever I was trying to think of a couple shorts ago is there. These are new attack Karen Elliott as well from the palette. And then we have uh, one more eBay and we'll get into a couple on Poshmark. These are Torrid, the Distress Bermuda, Bermuda Shorts, size 14, vintage stress rolled cuffs. Uh, I purchased these because, you know, Torrid, I wanted to try them out. I liked that they were a little distressed. I wasn't sure how Bermuda would do that typically is like an older style, but I know for myself personally, um, I'm not an itty bitty <laughs> little person. Um, and I don't like the short shorts because it makes my thighs rub. So I do prefer a longer short. Um, so I decided to try it just because it is a slightly bigger size. I thought maybe, you know, they would be similar to me and it did sell pretty quickly. So let me know what you guys like from Torrid or if there's other, um, you know, brands like that, that sell consistently sell well. Coach, this is actually funny. I was going through some inventory. I'm trying to get in the habit of once a month, once a quarter, going through some older inventory, making sure it's listed, deciding whether I want to keep it listed or donate it. Um, and this is something I found and it wasn't listed. <laughs> so I had it and I'm like, why hasn't this sold yet? Well, it either never got listed or maybe I relisted it and it got deleted. I don't know what happened. So I listed it. It's an older vintage um, coach. You can see the Creed number here. Nothing fancy, but it sold for $37 on Poshmark. Here's some free people. Free people, I don't buy at the thrift store, um, honestly. But the new with Tag Free People sells. It doesn't sell super high. Let's see what my average sell price for Free People is. It it sells. This is all new with tags. Free People average sell price of twenty nine dollars. So it doesn't sell super high, but eleven percent sell through rate. Um, and you can see, you know, I've bought at least one pallet, one hundred and sixty one items. So it consistently sells from liquidation, but I won't buy it at a thrift store. Uh, I, I find unless it's something super cool and unique or very like on trend, I like this current year's free people, I won't buy it at a thrift store. And then Citizens of Humanity, again, this is just wild to me. This one actually sold really high and it's because of this patch right here. You can see it's the boot cut jean and I'm pretty sure it was a low rise, let's see. Oh, it doesn't say I'd have to look at the uh, scene, but 
the bootcut jean, but you can see it had like this really cool peace sign. This actually got purchased on eBay and then it got returned and sold on Poshmark. So if you don't do returns on eBay, most of my returns get sold again anyway. So if you guys like this video, YouTube thinks that you're also like this video. I will link some more what sold videos here so you can see other items that are selling for me and make sure to hit that subscribe.